What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our Tales related video. So, it's officially, well, in like an hour as of recording this, it's officially been one month since Tales of Arise has released, and I kind of wanted to talk, I'm not going to talk about Tales of Arise itself, I've got a review that will come out when my playthrough is fully uploaded, but uh, I want to talk about the future of Tales, you know, where do we go from here, you know? Uh, people already are very, and understandably so, you know, we waited, uh, five years, basically, for a ta Tales game. Tales of Berseria came out in Japan in August of 2016, and we got it at the end of January in 2017 here in the West, and, <clears throat> excuse me, so that's four years for, you know, Western fans, uh, four and a half years between Tales games, which, you know, not counting the mobile games, you know, obviously we got a lot in that time. Uh, Rays and Crestoria both came out, you know, before between the gap of Berseria and Arise, so if you are someone who's okay with mobile games, you know, you at least got some Tales content uh, over the last few years, you know, to tide you over, but, you know, there are people who just, you know, don't want to look at anything besides the main series titles, um, you know, on console. Um, so for people like that, it has been a very long, uh, four years. Uh, of course we did get, you know, Vesperia Definitive Edition, but in reality, Vesperia Definitive Edition is really just the, uh, PS3 version, um, you know, that had the extra content. Uh, it wasn't really too much different from the original version, just, you know, having Patty and Flynn... And then, you know, some extra content on the side. But for the most part, it is the same game. Um, but I want to talk about where we go from here. Because, you know, like I, I kind of rambled on for a bit. But, you know, people want to know what's next for the series. You know, Tales of Rise has come and gone. I feel like most people who have been who got the game on release have beaten it by now. Um, I personally have had it beaten for, I want to say, about two weeks now. Maybe a little more. Um, and I won't lie. Even me, I'm, I'm just kind of like, all right, I'm kind of excited to know what's coming next. You know, there have been rumors floating around about, you know, uh, leaks of, like, ports being worked on or whatever. Uh, we know that they have talked about on official Tales streams and the Japanese streams that they would like to bring Tales of Destiny uh, more worldwide. You know, because it's one of the most popular games in the series. And uh, a lot of people in the West, you know, most of them, unless you played you know, played the game in Japanese, uh, you don't, you know, you don't have the remastered version of that, which has a Stan and Leon story. Um, you know, most people just played the original version. Um, but, you know, that stuff is, until stuff gets officially, you know, out there, you know, those are just rumors right now. There are rumors about Abyss getting, you know, a remake or remaster, which I don't need, you know, I don't know where any of these leaks are even coming from. I don't know any sources. So until something's official, I really can't say anything beyond, you know, just what I'm hearing. Um, but anyways, I want to kind of talk about, you know, kind of the path Tales has taken for the most part. This is just includes the main titles. It doesn't include the spinoffs like Tales of the World and stuff like that, you know, Radiant Mythology. But, you know, you kind of get a look right here of the dates. And, you know, Berseria to Arise is the longest gap we've ever had. Uh, the longest gap before that was from Zillia 2 to Zestiria, which was three years. Um, but as you can see, you know, very early on. I mean, there was actually a pretty big gap early on. From Destiny to Eternia, you know, was a good three years. Um, but from 2002 to 2005, we got what? One, two, three, four. What is that? Six? Uh, no, five titles in three years. And then from 2007 to 2009, we got four games. So in four years, we got four games. Or in two years, we got four games. Um, but of course, this comes with the territory. The more advanced technology comes and the more, you know, graphically advanced, you know, these games are going to be, the longer it's going to take to develop. And that's what I want to kind of get into now is... When will we see the next main title? What are they going to be working on to kind of tide us over in the meantime? Uh, you know, especially from 2016 to 2021, if you are someone who likes to uh, take in all the content Tales puts out, regardless of its English or Japanese, regardless of its mobile game or main title game, they have done a pretty good job at keeping us tied it over. We've gotten some animations. Um, 
We've gotten some mobile games. We've gotten some side stuff. So if you are someone who just takes in every piece of content that there is, you know, you have had a decent amount of stuff while waiting for a rise. So the wait hasn't been as bad as it is for some other people. So what can we expect moving forward from 2021? Well, first off, we know Tales of Luminaria is releasing this year. Unless it's going to get pushed back, if you go to the Japanese Twitter for Luminaria, it does say 2021 on their little promotional thing. If you go to the English uh, thing, their promotional thing just says coming soon. Uh, uh, where is it? Oh, I guess they don't have the same thing anymore. Uh, it used to be right up here, but it just says, you know, if you go to the website, it just says coming soon. But on the Japanese Twitter, if you go there, it does say 2021. So it's supposed to release before the end of this year. I'm going to guess sometime in November we're probably going to get the game released. Um, right now, they're still going through all the character trailers. Right now, they have revealed 17 of the 21 characters. Uh, they just posted about an hour ago. Uh, their 17th character, so there's still four characters. They've been doing one a day since they started these. So that means by this coming Wednesday, Wednesday the... I believe it's the 13th? Yeah, Wednesday the 13th, all the characters should be out, and there is a chance that they could reveal the date with the final character. Um, there's no confirmation on that, but that's going to be my guess. As a, I mean, that's the only thing I can guess right now. Um, because, they, you know, they've been doing this thing where at the end of each trailer... Uh, I'll let it load up for a second. You know, it's gonna get... I don't want to open it. It's gonna be blaringly loud. There you, you see all the characters on the mural. So I think when the mural is complete, then there will be a date that, like, pops up on the final trailer or something. But, um... So yeah, we have that on the horizon. That's the newest Tales game. They are treating it as a main title, even though it's on mobile. So it's going to be the same in terms of, like their focus as you know any of these games um so it is being considered as a main title it's getting a animation um as well so that's more content that you're going to be able to get from that but beyond luminaria like let's say maybe you're not a mobile gamer okay you know it's totally fine not everyone's a mobile gamer what can you expect moving forward um realistically they said they want to work on getting a lot of older titles to modern consoles so what does it mean by older titles so, besides Arise, Berseria, Zestiria, and Vesperia, you cannot play any of the other games on uh, PS4 slash PS5 uh, at all. Those are the four you've got. And if you are one of the, you know, few, uh, not really few, there are plenty of people. If you are one of the people who play on PC, you can play the uh, PS3 version, I believe it's the PS3 version, of Symphonia. Um, if you only have, you know, a PC and a PS4, if you don't have any of the older consoles like PS3 and before, those are the five titles that we can play right now. So, that leaves a lot of games, you know, the most desired games right now to be ported over are the Zillias. You know, people want a dual pack of the Zillias, people want Graces, uh, and people want Abyss, I feel like are the big ones. In terms of remasters, for remakes, everyone screaming that I'm seeing is screaming Symphonia. People want a Symphonia remake, like... You know, top to bottom, Arise graphics. Um, my opinion on that is I, I would have to see how it's going to be done because I would want it to still be authentic to how the original Symphonia was. I wouldn't want uh, too much change with the story. I don't want it to be suddenly... I don't want it to suddenly be a totally unrecognizable story. Um, but beyond that, you know, I would not be against seeing all those cities and everything in HD. I think it would look great. But uh, I don't know if Tails is ready to take on a remake of that level yet. I think it's going to be a little bit longer. You know, maybe they'll focus on getting some of these titles to modern consoles for people to play before they start focusing on remakes and stuff like that. But they have mentioned, like, I was kind of leading into this, but they have mentioned that they do want to bring these games over to modern consoles. Um, so stuff like Destiny, uh, you know, Legendia. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> I mean, we've seen with the mobile games how, how much uh, <laughs> Bandai cares about Legendia, considering Crystoria doesn't have a single SSR character for Legendia yet, so I'll, uh, I'll hold my breath on that. Um, you know, Abyss, obviously, people want, you know, even if it's just a HD remaster, you know, just port the, uh, the you know, we, which we, all, we do have 
kind of a remaster, but it's really just the port on the 3DS. Um, but I would really like to see an actual, like, remaster, um, you know, get the actors back, finish the English audio, which I don't know if they would do. Uh, I, don't, I feel like they really would only do that if it was going to be a full, like, remake or remaster where they redo all the audio. I feel like for the most part. And if they did do it, um, they would do like what they did with Vesperia Definitive Edition where if they can't get the actors back, they just try to hire someone who sounds similar enough for the extra content. So you would have the same similar thing where... Uh, some of the characters will have different voices for different parts of the game. You'd have the old voice content for the stuff that was in the original, and then the skits, for example, in English. This is only applying in English. If you're playing Japanese, it wouldn't matter, because um, they voice everything in Japanese. Um, but if you're playing in English, you know, the skits would might have different voices than the rest of the game. Uh, that's just how they... Same thing with the original uh, Symphonia, because skits are not voiced in Symphonia as well. But uh, we would have to see. Um, so that's one thing. So ports, remasters, remakes, that's what we should expect next. And the other thing I kind of wanted to lead into that I was kind of just thinking about before I made this video is that I think at the point we're at now, unless the next Tales game is already decently underway, like, let's, let's say, you know, they figured out Tales of Arise's release date, you know, back in March or whatever it was, and then they were like, okay... You know, we've got most of the groundwork done for Arise. Let's start working on the next title. So, chances are, you know, they probably already know what the next game is going to be called. They know, uh, I, I don't, I don't want to, you know, obviously put stuff out there that's not real. But I, I would expect they're at least starting to work on, you know, character designs for whatever the next title is going to be. And for, for all we know, they could already have the next set of characters designed. We don't know. But... I do think there's a chance that we could be at a point in time, because these games are so, you know, uh, you know, uh, I was going to say hard to make, but it takes so much work to make that every game moving forward, every new title could just be an anniversary title. So, for example, Tales of Arise technically was supposed to come out in 2020, which is when the 25th anniversary started since Fantasia came out in 1995. Um, but they're still treating Arise as the 25th anniversary title because it's still not over yet. Uh, Tales of Fantasia released in December, so we did meet that cutoff point. Um, you know, the end of the anniversary would have been December, so it still technically came out, Arise technically came out during the 25th anniversary still. I think unless they've made some decent headway on the next main title, I don't think we will see it until 2025. Uh, which would still be less than five years because Arise came out at the end of 2021. So, you know, if they had a title come out, you know, early to mid-2025, you know, that's not even four years. Uh, well, yeah, that's not even four years. That'd be three years and some change. Um, so there, there's always that. Um, but that's only if they haven't, like, really gotten started on things. If they have gotten started, they could try to get a game out by, like, 2023 if they think they can. But I think, realistically, we're going to be seeing, you know, ports and remasters over the course of the next few years. Well, I, I realistically expect two ports, you know, port slash remaster, and then a new main game. I think they'll, uh, you know, since they, they have mentioned they want to get Destiny over, you know, outside of Japan... Uh, I think Destiny could be one of the games that they work on, you know, bring it to all consoles. There's no reason for it not to be on everything. And then maybe, like, one of the more popular, you know, they, if they want to port over, you know, Symphonia Chronicles or uh, do a Zillia duology uh, or what have you, I do think that's a realistic expectation. Um, I would like to see the older titles more than the newer ones, and if they are working on Destiny, I would like them to work on Destiny 2 as well. Because we don't have that over here either. So, I think I would really like to see a dual pack of that. Um, you know, of course, I want to see Rebirth come over here. But, you know, one step at a time, really. But, realistically, what I think is going to happen uh, for these next few years... We'll have Luminaria for the next year. I mean, it, it's going to be more than a year. But, in terms of new stuff, Luminaria is going to be the next thing to tide fans over for the next year. We're not going to... 
I realistically do not, you know, people are saying they expect an announcement maybe at the Game Awards, maybe something like that, but Tales of Arise is a month old. There's no way they're going to announce a new, brand new title or like a remake slash remaster, you know, this soon after, unless they just really had stuff, you know, in the works already. But considering how much time it took to get Arise out and all the delays, I, I'm not expecting anything to kind of be ready in the works right now. So, Tales of Luminaria will come out probably November or December, unless they, it comes out like the end of October, which, you know, would be welcomed as well. Um, so, Tales of Luminaria tied us over for the next year. I think maybe Tales of Festival next year, which, you know, when they get back to their normal time, you know, is around like, uh, you know, early summertime. Uh, so, they could announce a port or something there. We do have Tales of Festival next month for 2021. Uh, I'm not really expecting an announcement, though. I'm really just expecting more announcements for the stuff we already have. We know they've already done a Tales of Arise DLC. Um, and on today's... Today is actually when they had that uh, Bandai stream at uh, New York Comic Con. And they did allude to that there could be more collaborations for Tales of Arise in the future. So I do think we could see maybe like two or three more over the course of the next year. You know, maybe every couple months... They announce another one. Um, and it'll just be something small. You know, you're not going to get a full story expansion as far as, you know, <laughs> I would think. Uh, I think it's just going to be something very simple where it's just like, okay, here you go. Here's this boss fight. Uh, here's this special mystic art. And here's this, uh, here are these costumes and weapons. And there you go. Um, so, yeah, between Tales of Arise, possible DLC, Tales of Luminaria, that'll be the next year. And then I think. Towards the end of 2022, they'll probably announce a new, uh, well, not new, but they'll announce some kind of remake or, re or not remake, but remaster or port of an old Tales game. And then, you know, kind of like the Sperry Definitive Edition to tide people over uh, for a year or two and then do another one. And then, you know, when the main, next main title is ready, probably around like 2025, uh, that's when that will come out, which will be the 30th anniversary of Tales. So realistically being a, you know, a 10 instead of a 5 uh, you would think that it would be a much bigger title than even Arise at this point but they'll probably still be using the engine they use for Arise for the next game so uh, uh, you know Arise in retrospect is going to seem like a much bigger game um, but that's pretty much it so that's what you can really expect moving forward uh, we do still have the mobile games if you play all of them you know Asteria Rays, Crystoria and then Luminaria is coming out. There's actually not many franchises that have four mobile game titles. I think Final Fantasy has four, but, uh, you know, some struggle to even have, like, one or two. Uh, Star Ocean, I'm looking at you. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so, you know, we've got those four mobile games to tide us over until they do announce something new. Um, and I think it's going to be really exciting. I'm excited to see, you know, what they do with... Uh, arise in the mobile games. I'm excited to see what they do with ports and remasters and stuff like that moving forward. Uh, of course, I would prefer if they did the games first that I haven't played yet. Um, you know, such as Fantasia, Destiny, Eternia, Destiny 2. Uh, what else haven't I played? Uh, Hearts. Um, I think that's pretty much it on this list. Those are the ones I haven't played. But uh, I would love to see those first, but realistically, I'm expecting the popular ones to kind of get the uh, the uh, fan service here. But let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know what you think is going to happen next. Let me know, without spoilers, how, if you did enjoy Tales of Arise. Did it live up to your uh, expectations? And uh, let me know if you're excited to see where the series goes next. Um, I'll be interested to see what kind of gimmicks we go to to the next game. Because as we know, every Tales game is different in kind of how things work. Um, it is kind of funny that we did have two characters back to back that kind of had like a special weapon of some kind. You know, Velvet had her demon arm and Alfin had the fire sword. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what the next. I want another brawler, realistically. I want someone like Jude and Senel that just fights with their fists. I think that'd be pretty exciting. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.